Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my series Common series Rule Japan. It has been a while since you've heard me or since you've seen a video of me. Nearly two months, I think it's actually more than two months at this point. I think it might be two months or one week or something like this. A lot has happened and yeah, I'm finally back. And I'm finally back at the hospital of building the city and yeah, what happened? First of all, I had some technical problems which were solved after about two weeks. I had the problem that I couldn't up my safe and the reason for this problem was ma mainly was because I didn't have a big enough page file because I didn't have enough space on my C drive where I have Windows installed so I was kind of like had to work away around this and in the end it worked out quite fine. It is now working again. I have 1.5 terabyte and an SSD M M.2 so this should be enough for the next several years with it yes I would assume. And yeah, then I got the safe running and then school stress started and COVID started all over again and another very positive thing for me, well COVID was positive, but another co positive aspect of this is I started to take commissions over at Fiverr. I'm now officially a seller of 3D products, 3D models and commissions for them and I already had several ones of them and I'm already making money with this. so. I now have at least some kind of an income, although I still live by my parents, I kind of like want to be independent at one point, so this is a very big step for me and this is what I did the last two months basically, so sorry for that, there will now, from now on there will be a bit more of videos, some more regular videos and yeah, this is what I will be going for. What are we doing today? Our suburbs and these suburbs will be located in the north of our downtown. They will not only be kind of like suburbs, they will also be have kind of like the out, outer areas of the downtown and they are kind of like the small, the, the smaller skyscrapers, just like they are not so far spread anymore. They are just continuing on the main streets and etc and stuff like this. And yes, I haven't opened the safe by the way since my PC had these problems. I opened it once and everything is working fine as far as I've seen. The LUT is gone but I, then I had to reinstall it, the whole game. But I think we get back to getting the LUT. I think I have the settings saved so this shouldn't be that much of a problem. Here we are now starting off with the suburbs. I'm not showing you how I placed down all of them that you've seen in cinematics. Don't be scared of that. I skipped quite a lot of parts. I'm just kind of like showing you partially of what I'm doing there. We have quite a lot of cuts in this video also, to be honest. I'm not sure if this is a good thing or not, but at least it spares you from seeing me building suburbs for 10 hours straight. The recording time of this whole thing about 23 hours and I cut it down to 10 hours originally and then I just cut it out parts of me just doing random stuff. And yes, here also you can see me building in a train station because I feel like a train station would be rather realistic there. And this one will be connected later up, it will be going into the east of the map. It might even be connecting up to the train station that we have in our small rural village. This is quite far away from this downtown, but we will soon will be there where we will be filling in the spaces between these two, these two cities, these two, well, this village and this city. This might actually be one of the next projects of mine that I will start to fill in these spaces so that we kind of like have an at least somewhat countryside there because right now I haven't worked anything on the countryside I just kind of like worked out how to do the cities and stuff like this and now that would be a hard thing for me to kind of like achieve the good border between the two things also I have to say a bit of a thank you for you guys for being so patient because well the last video is quite some time was was quite a long time ago and I received a lot of new subs. I think I received 30 subs or 40 subs while I wasn't there so hello to all the new, all the new guys here. Thank you very much for your support, support and yeah I would try to go back to at least somewhat regular up, up, up loads. I would try to go for like one video every two weeks or something like this so that I can keep the quality up and at the same time give you something to watch. What I'm doing here is now just that I have already filled in some spaces, now I need to do some services. I just use the cubes for now. We will be doing some big service things later down the line, but... Well... Yeah. But it will take some time to be out there. That's what I thought there right now, how I should say this, but... It will take some time, to be honest. 
This is also one of the longer videos, it's kind of like a 27 minutes video, so I hope this is fine for you, it is like... I didn't want to scrap too much and I wanted to upload something rather soon than late, so it was like, yeah, okay. I will now make this, it is right now Sunday at 16 o'clock in the, in the afternoon, afternoon, yeah. And let's see what I will upload this, it might be even today, it might be tomorrow, but yeah, we will see about that. What I'm doing here is just a very usual grid. It is something that I mostly don't like to do, but for the suburbs, the suburbs are simply grids. I can't do anything about that, they are grids, I can't change this, I need to use kind of like grids for them. And this is also what I was I'm kind of doing here, and it is not too bad, I think. It, I mean, it is a grid, you know, but it is not that much of a bad grid. I'm kind of trying to make it a bit more natural, it, it has a lot of straight, cur straight areas, but also a lot of curves as if you like this is important for these kind of areas and yeah here we are now we'll be starting with this school we'll be detailing it with simply a soccer field in the backyard and it is kind of like this very big noticeable area in the whole suburbs because it's the only big lot we have here basically together with a parking lot the parking lot will be built in this triangular space as I wasn't sure what it should build there as it is a triangular space and I'm not too good with stuff like this so i thought about what are my possibilities so one i could just kind of like add in streets and make it kind of like normal suburban area i could make something interesting out of it and i was feeling like we haven't done a single custom parking lot in this series so far so it's like yeah let's go for that and i have to say i'm pretty happy about it i'm i feel like it is a cool looking thing and i think i should be doing this in more areas and yeah also, I have to say thank you very much for the support from the City Skylines, City Skylines uh, community manager, how they are called. They re reshared and retweeted a, a picture of mine from the last episode, and this gave me quite a lot of a boost. So thank you guys over there if you watch this, if anyone of you is watching my videos. And yeah, I really, really appreciate it. Here you can now see me like kind of like starting with the parking lot here first of all i wanted to have everything concrete later on i will be adding in some bushes and some grass as i feel like this is making a city look interesting and this make a city also better from different aspects one of these aspects that i would love to talk about is simply the, the temperature of the city because if you kind of like live in a big city you might know that it's quite warm when you have a lot of concrete the air is pretty warm, the air is kind of like heating up pretty, rather quickly and this can be prevented and the way that you prevent something like this is by simply using some more trees and bushes. I mean yeah you can surely only use some more green spaces but green spaces don't do as much as trees and bushes do so this is a thing where I have to say I'm pretty glad that I'm living in Vienna uh, simply out of the fact that I'm living here we have a lot of a lot of parks in Vienna and still a lot of trees and backyards and this still give, still cools the city down quite a lot so we have it rather we are rather a city with a more how should I say this it's kind of like a more livable space I would say and with a lot of livable space also what I love to see is Paris announce they try to do this in the next I think after 2030 they want to be on the second or first place of the greenest cities in Europe. So we have another city where they're kind of like trying to do this and they will also try to like convert some of the big main streets into more pe more more kind of like how should I say it? The city should be more focused on people on walkability. So basically Pedestrians should have kind of like more rights in cars too and if you don't know Paris has quite a big of a traffic problem not only because of the traffic inside of the city but also the traffic that wants to go through the city or inside or outside of the city and this leads to a lot of traffic on some of the main roads and they kind of like want to prevent this. It would be interesting to see how they would do it. I only saw a short video of kind of like advertisement video of the whole campaign where they showed kind of like yeah you want to get rid of their some of the lanes as they have several six lane roads they want to kind of like fix in some of the spaces there and just get rid of some lanes and just make some pedestrian walkability there and also some bicyclist infrastructure which i think is a rather cool idea 
I think a city should be built for the people that live in there and not only for the transport of cargo inside of the city and at the interest of the shops, but also for the people, as the people are simply the people that live in this area and have to maintain it in some way. But yes, what I'm doing there in the background is not a markings. These ones are for pedestrian walkways, so that you can walk safe there without getting run over by a car when you try to get to your car. And yes, this is what I did there. It makes it quite close, but I think it's still okay-ish. And yes, I'm pretty happy with this. This was, by, this was also one of my first tries on how to make a Japanese parking lot. And I feel like, yeah, I did a good job there. I think this might work out, work out quite well. Also, I'm pretty, pretty sorry if this the audio quality isn't like it it used to. It will be better in the next episodes once I get the hang of it again. I wasn't doing this for several months now, so I'm very sorry for this. But yeah, I'm now trying to get back to my regular, regular uploading. Regular uploading cycle, I would say, because I won't make it like weekly like I did before. It will be most likely in the, the in like two weeks gap from each other. As this is also not only simply for me easier, so that I don't have to have to hurry to upload something, it is also better for views and better for subscribers, because I kind of like tested... I get a bit more subscribers when I wait until I upload the videos, basically I have one video now week, two weeks, then I get the next one out, then I get gain more subs by this, then I gain by making one video every week, and I have only half of the work, so... It is kind of like this thing for me, that it is simply also kind of like extending my reach in this, in this kind of thing. Here as you can see I'm using these networks excessively, I love them. They are so great. They are simply such a cool thing to use I feel like, so yes. What I'm doing there is adding in a small monorail part. This is a thing that if you know a bit about the modding scene, there are these... Wait, let me actually see how they are called. They are... The, the Shonen 500s. The, you might have seen them already, they are out for quite some time now. I have to see out of what which series are they? I only know that they are from... Blue Thunder... The right area, so the right... R-Y-D-E... Monorails. I was allowed to test them there, and this is what I did there, and we just I may just made some pictures for him, and they were actually also one of them was featured in this, in his assets, so thank you very much for this, and I enjoyed testing them. I'm actually considering to use some of monorails in my city, so there might be a network coming with them soon. Kind of like a network in my city. I think this would be pretty cool. I think this might be a good solution. And yes. So what I'm doing here is just some background detailing, and this is like what we will do for the rest of the video. Just detailing stuff and just working around with it. And yeah, this will be basically what we'll be doing for this episode. And yeah. I have no idea what I should talk now, so I will leave you alone for this episode. If I will, if I have to say something more, you will hear it later on, but I don't think it will. So yeah, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please appreciate if you'd consider liking it. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to my channel, because we're pretty close to 1000 subs. This would mean a lot to me, as this is quite a big milestone for me. And yeah. With this said, thank you for watching and enjoy the rest of, it, of the video. Bye!